Hi, I'm Guy Savelli. This is January 2000. What you're about to see are some of my students, some beginners, some advanced, who are doing the moves of Hak Chun Kun Tao. Hak Chun Kun Tao was started by me in 1964 from Master Willem Readers, who learned from his uncle, Master Lu Shan, in Indonesia. It's a Chinese Indonesian art that has been synthesized with the mental, physical, and spiritual aspects so that you can learn as quickly as possible today. My name is Andrew Garlisi. I'm a physician certified in emergency medicine and internal medicine. Uh, through my 18 years of experience in the emergency department, I've uh, been able to examine and treat hundreds of patients with a variety of traumatic injuries. Also, with my specialty in internal medicine, I'm familiar with internal organ structure and function. I was interested in learning more about Kuhn Tao after I met Master Guy Savelli, and I found out through interaction with him that uh, this system teaches a unique combination of uh, physical, mental, and spiritual techniques. Uh, I was able to witness from videotapes several uh, people that Master Guy Savelli has helped free of charge with a variety of illnesses and chronic pain problems. By using mind control and spiritual techniques, he was able to assist these people through their very serious uh, physical ailments. This interest uh, guided me into his studio and I became a student and there were several impressive uh, aspects of his techniques that I learned and was able to apply almost immediately. From a physical standpoint alone, I believe this system is uh, unique in, in several ways. Number one, it teaches a, a student to apply tremendous amount of power and generate that power in an instant. It also teaches a student to uh, utilize blinding speed techniques when, when confronted with a physical uh, situation. I've been training with Master Savella since 1994 for six years. A former member of Special Operations Company from Ministry of Internal Affairs in Soviet Union, former Soviet Union. When I came to the States, I started looking for a place and a person to train with in the Cleveland area. Went to numerous schools. I haven't found nothing close to what I was looking for. Eventually, after I saw an ad for Master Civil Studio, and I called, talked to him on the phone. I came over here and started training with Master Civil. About six or seven months later, my wife developed a health problem. We went to numerous doctors trying to find out what it is and to see what we can do about it. Couldn't get any answers nor help. And then my wife decided to come here to the studio and talk to Master Savelli. Uh, we had two sessions three days apart, each about 30 minutes. And about three days later, when we went to New York City, a uh, health problem that 
my wife had was gone and over with. Um, that was probably my first exposure to something more than just physical side of martial arts and it was totally new experience, something that I hoped existed for a long time but was never able to find until I met Master Sevilla. The footage you're about to see is of Colonel Nick Rowe, who was a prisoner of war in Vietnam for five years and who instinctively knew that his men needed mental and spiritual training in their survival evasion resistance escape program which he started in 1984. He hired me so that I could advance them because they didn't have a way. He promoted all of the training that you're going to see in the different parts of the rest of this film. He stood behind us 100% and for that I'm grateful. He pulled in men from all over the world, the SEALs, the Recon, the Air Force, everyone he could. He brought them. An American has escaped from a POW camp. Put your feet apart. Put them apart. Keep going. Bend over. This is the Army's POW school. Okay, we're Americans. We're Americans. Stand up. Punch feet. An 18 to 27 day course, which Vietnam veterans say should have been introduced right after the war, not a decade later. We knew we'd be wounded. We accepted that as a given. Lieutenant Colonel Nick Rowe was a prisoner of the Viet Cong for five years, one of only 28 servicemen to escape. You never considered being captured. Never once did being captured enter the picture. Today, servicemen are taught a backup position told to talk to their captors, give their ID, and if necessary, tell elaborate lies about their skills and mission. Any deception to stay alive. In Vietnam, Colonel Rowe lied about his job as a Green Beret, saying he was an engineer. The Army's new instruction is based on Rowe's five years of deceiving the enemy. When they figure out you've been lying to them. Then you're, if you can't get away, then you might as well tuck up because you're going to die. The new course puts heavy emphasis on escaping before the enemy learns you are lying. And stab straight to the neck. It's the kind of instruction rarely seen by the public. And the only problem with this is it will gurgle and make noise. So what you have to do then is close his head down over that to silence the noise of the blood and the gurgling. This is what people think all soldiers learn. It is not. It's a sign take up. The training is only for selected soldiers like these who will become instructors and the Army's Rangers and Green Berets. He's not as happy, perhaps, as what he could be. The men are taught to survive as prisoners and while they are on the run. You have got to learn to overcome this. This little aversion we have to killing something and then eating it. And while evading the enemy, they must eat anything, even boa constrictors.